All right, fam, let's make some smothered shrimp and sausage with creamy Parmesan grits. Let's get it. I'm gonna prep my sausage. I'm gonna cut it diagonally. I want it to stand out on presentation when we serve our creamy shrimp and grits up. Let's season up our shrimp. We're gonna add a small drizzle of oil because we want our seasoning to stick to the shrimp. We're gonna add that garlic powder. Make sure it's coated. We're also gonna add some onion powder. I know this doesn't have a label, <laughs> but it's onion powder. Smoked paprika for that nice smoky flavor. Add a good amount. All right, don't be shy. We're also gonna add some Old Bay. Light sprinkle because Old Bay does contain salt. All right, I'm gonna add some of my low sodium Creole seasoning. Add some shrimp bouillon for an enhanced shrimpy delicious flavor. <laughs> that makes sense, right? We're just gonna go ahead and mix it all up, make sure everything is perfectly combined. Sometimes you know what you want to say, but it just doesn't come out the way you want to say it. <laughs> All right, my loves. We want our grits to have the ultimate flavor. So we're going to start off with adding our water to the pot. And we're also going to add some chicken bouillon for that ultimate flavor. All right. Flavor that water really good. Once we're going to add our grits to the boiling water. Stir it up really quick. I'm going to cook it for about 10, 10 minutes or until the desired texture is reached. Check it out for a second. The water is dried out of the pan, right? But this is not the texture that I'm going for. So feel free to add some more water. And allow it to cook until the texture is nice and soft. Let's introduce some heavy cream to our grits. Give it a nice creamy flavor. I'm going to allow it some more cooking time because I want to get those flavors to come together. All right, I'm going to take about a tablespoon of butter and we are going to add it to our grits. Give it a good mix. Too thick, add more milk. In the first part of the cooking process, if it's a little bit too thick, add a little bit more water. If it's too thin, allow the water to dry out. Perfect. Add some fresh Parmesan cheese to our grits. Add a good amount because we want a nice nutty flavor. Stir that on in as well. At this point in time, we'll go ahead and turn the stove top off. This recipe is not limited to only adding Parmesan cheese. If you want to add Gouda, or let's say maybe mozzarella, Kobe Jack, you definitely can. All right, our grits are done. Let's add some oil to our pan. We're gonna add our sausages. Using the same pan, we're gonna add our shrimp. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove our shrimp from the pan. Set it aside next to the sausage. All right. It's always one shrimp that just does not want to get out of the pan. I'm telling you. <laughs> anyway, this looks gorgeous, right? I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil. And we're gonna go ahead and add all of the veggies that we chopped up. The onions, the bell peppers, Cubanel peppers, green onions, the whole nine yards. And we're gonna allow our veggies to saute and pick up some of those beautiful flavors at the bottom of the pan. Gonna go ahead and give it a quick mix. And because there's so much flavor at the bottom of the pan, we're gonna season our veggies, but we don't have to overdo it with the seasoning. All right, first thing we wanna add is our chopped garlic. Let's incorporate that with our veggies. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and season with our garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, whole day seasoning, Creole seasoning, and some chicken bouillon. 
All right, I know you saw me use the shrimp bouillon for the shrimp. And trust me, those flavors are already locked in. I ended up using the chicken bouillon because we're also going to be adding our sausage to this mix in a couple minutes. And I want everything to have the perfect balance when it comes to flavor. All right, allow these veggies some more cooking time because we want to break them down some more before adding anything else. We're going to make a space in the middle and we're going to add our tomato paste. <laughs> so much for the space in the middle, right? The tomato paste ended up on the side of the pan. Doesn't matter because we're going to incorporate it regardless. And we're going to make it work. I'm not going to open up an entire can of tomato paste. Doesn't make sense because I don't have anything else to use it for, at least right now. So I'm going to try to make this work. And just add a heavy cream. Stir it up really good. At this time, let's lower the flame and allow the heavy cream to reduce. All right, the heavy cream, as you can see, started to reduce. How do we know that? Not only did it take on like a silky, creamy texture, but you notice the cream is sticking to the spoon, right? All right, that's our indication. Let's add our sausage back to the pan. And we're also going to add a shrimp back to the pan, along with that beautiful gravy. Allow the shrimp the cooking time that it needs. And we are going to add it to our Creole shrimp and sausage. It's time for us to pour out our grits. Grab your flip. <laughs> Grab your favorite bowl. My mouth is salivating. Suddenly I'm lost for words, right? Perfect. Remember our beautiful creamy Creole shrimp and sausage? We're gonna take some of it and we're just gonna, ooh. Wow. This is magic on a plate, definitely. Gotta take some of my reserved shrimp and just place it right there. And our reserved sausages. We're gonna garnish and decorate with some more parsley. All right, it's about that time. I can't wait to dig in. Oh, look at how gorgeous. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. <laughs> I am going to leave you with wow. You know when something is just so perfect, there's just nothing else left to say. Well, this is definitely one of those moments. Wow, wow, wow. This right here, guys, definitely give this recipe a try. It is magnificent. Absolutely creamy on the palate. Perfect flavors. The Creole intertwined with the nutty flavors. Perfectly seasoned shrimp. Everything else. It's just so magical. Definitely give this recipe a try once again. I know I said that before. Grab up. You know what? Hold on one second. Grab up this Creole seasoning right here because this is definitely gonna allow you to make this tasting the same exact way. You can find this on cookingwithtammy.shop. Mm -hmm. And definitely grab your seasoning because it's gonna be so worth it. Anyway guys, as always, I gotta go because I have some delicious creamy Parmesan grits, sausage and shrimp to enjoy. Talk to you later, bye guys.